Hello. Um, this this picture's for a commander that I've already done a picture for. This commander doesn't know they're getting this picture. But problem is that I um, did the original picture for them and I thought to myself, well, they live abroad. I'm, I'm going to put this in a smaller envelope. Now, I have big envelopes, so I, I cut them down so that I save myself four quid postage. That's quite a lot, you know. And in the process of cutting this one down, this envelope, I, I forgot that I actually already put the picture in it. So I sliced it in half, this other picture. So I haven't quite had the heart to send it yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send it in its <laughs> dreadful state. And I'm going to send this picture with it as a kind of an apology for the picture that the commander actually asked for being in smaller segments. It's, it's a quickie, this, because... It's very simple. Basically, the enjoyableness, enjoyableness of this was doing the planes of this crystal. When something's supposed to be a bit metallic, you get some quite odd combinations of colours coming as reflections from the various different things that are near it. And I quite like this. These have got an innate colour, as it were, but obviously they're very f highly reflective as well. So, um, so they've got all sorts of other subtle tones and whatnot. Anyway, so yeah, apparently they're made out of, like, tiny organisms. Many, many, many tiny organisms. They're, 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 they're found in um, the stellar phenomena, the Lagrange clouds, where you where you get the nice clouds and colours, and, and you get you, you get the sheep dropping things, you know, the uh, the metallic balls as well. And they all float together, and, and they issue clouds of whatever, puffs of little smoke and stuff. And this one's a, a picture of an anaconda, which is uh, just putting its nose up to one of the spike points. So that's rather rather funky and cool. So I, I, I quite like that, uh, the, the sort of delicacy of the touch when you know the, how massive the anaconda is. But it also kind of shows you just how big the spiky boys are, isn't it? They're really huge because you know how big an anaconda is. And th th it really actually was quite surprising. They're that big. I, I was surprised. I, I, quite like, I quite like the bluish glow that you get from the anaconda's headlights. I kept having to, this, I used a little bit of paper, this is a small picture, so I used a small piece of paper and of course my, my hand gets covered in muck and so uh, I kept having to rub it out and colour it in black and smudge it and whatnot. So <laughs> it, was a, it was a bit of a faff to be honest but it was, it was, it was really enjoyable. I, I like it in the same way that I like doing um, nebulae because the, the subtle variations of colour are great fun and also you can get away with doing it wrong. <laughs> Anyway, not to worry, it's not the end of the world, is it? Uh, and thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, I have gone on a bit, actually.